Today we are going to talk about a very easy topic which is the body fluid compartments or the different compartments in which the body fluid is maintained or kept. In the, whole, in the human body, there are two main compartments, the intracellular compartment and the extracellular compartments in which the fluid is present. And we are going to discuss them. Now, as we have started our new unit about the physiology of the kidneys or the renal system and body fluids. So in the last lecture, we basically uh, discussed the daily intake and daily uh, loss or daily output of the, uh, the fluid. And we discussed that the kidneys have a very big role in maintaining the amount of intake and uh, the daily intake and daily loss and to keep the electrolytes in balance. Now the kidneys have a very big role in maintaining the fluid. So it is important to discuss the body fluid before going into detail of the uh, functions of the kidneys. Now in the average human adult, in the average human adult of 70 kg, there is around 42 liters of fluid. There is around 42 liters of fluid or water and this is around 60% of the weight. In an average adult human being of 70 kg, there is around 42 liters of fluid or water and this makes around 70-60% of the weight. Now this 42 liters of fluid is basically distributed in different compartments and it basically keeps on changing. Now it is not always fixed, it is slightly uh, different in males, slightly different in females, slightly different in very young patient people and uh, slightly different in aging people. In obese patients uh, the fluid may be less and due to the higher fat content and in the <clears throat> as the uh, fats in the body increases and with the increasing age this may be different. So little bit variation is there but in an average normal adult of 70 kg around 42 liters of fluid is present which makes it around 60% of the weight. This fluid is basically distributed in two main categories the extracellular fluid and the intracellular fluid. Now suppose for example this is the body. This is the body. Fluid is coming in and fluid is going out. Now in our last lecture we discussed that basically the fluid is coming in through intake of the fluid like the water intake, the juices intake, the coffee, the tea and uh, the, the fluid that is coming uh, from the oxidation process of the carbohydrates. So that makes the uh, intake and the output is basically determined by the fluid loss through sweating, insensible loss through skin, insen insensible loss through lungs, insensible loss uh, and loss in the urine and loss in the feces. So that is something which we discussed previously. Now this the fluid is coming in and it is going out but it is it is maintained the amount of fluid in the body is maintained with the help of kidneys and in the normal adult it is around 42 liters. Now this 42 in this 42 liters of blood uh, sorry of fluid 28 liters of fluid are present in the in the cells inside the cells it is present around 28 liters of fluid or around 40 percent is present inside the cells and around 14 liters 14 liters of fluid is present outside the cells which is basically known as the extracellular fluid so the intracellular fluid the fluid present inside the cells is 28 liters and the fluids present outside the cells is extracellular fluid it is around 14 liters now the intracellular fluid the intracellular fluid is around 40 percent it is around 40 percent while the extracellular fluid the fluid present outside the cells is around uh, 20 percent now you see this is now the, the first compartment as we are discussing the fluid compartments so the first compartment is the plasma which is around 3 liters now plasma if you see this is the heart the heart is pumping the blood to the tissues and it is basically oxygenating the tissues from the oxy and the deoxygenated blood is returning to the heart and it is reoxygenated in the lungs and is being pumped to the heart. Now, in the plasma, the fluid that the fluid portion of the blood or the portion of the blood other than the cells, if cells are removed, the remaining component of the blood is plasma and that plasma is basically a part of the extracellular fluid compartment extracellular basically it is present outside the cells and it is around 3 liter now this fluid basically comes to the tissues at the cellular level it crosses the capillary membrane now here you see this is the capillary membrane and this pink color fluid it is coming to the cells this, this is a tissue in which cells are present the fluid is basically crossing the capillary membrane and it goes into the interstitial fluid uh, interstitial it goes into the interstitium and this fluid present in the interstitium is around 11 liters. Now there is some green color fluid present outside these cells. Here you see this is the interstitial fluid and this interstitial fluid is basically present in the interstitium or it is present outside the cell. Now this fluid will basically bath the cells. The cells will basically release their uh, waste material into this fluid and will take oxygen and other nutrients from this fluid and then this fluid will basically go again through the capillaries into the veins. So here you see the fluid is basically coming into the interstitial fluid and then it is going in again into the plasma. So the plasma coming is coming here 
and it uh, crosses the capillaries and then it uh, surrounds it goes into the interstitium and from the interstitium it is collected again and through the capillary membrane it goes again into the plasma and here is it is shown now if you see this plasma is around one fourth of the extracellular fluid this plasma is around one fourth of the extracellular fluid and the interstitial fluid is around three by fourth of the extracellular fluid now this is this fluid this interstitial fluid this is extracellular or it is present outside the cells and plasma is also present outside the cells now this fluid also keep on exchanging with the cells now here is the cell membrane here is the cell membrane and this is basically the cell membrane these are the cells these are the cells and the fluid can go into the cell and the fluid from cells can go out so fluid exchange is occurring around uh, um, occurring uh, across the cell membrane fluid exchange is also occurring around the capillary membrane from the capillary membrane the fluid is coming into the interstitium and from the interstitium it is going into the venule and similarly from the interstitial fluid fluid is coming across the cell membrane into the cells it is coming into the cells and from the cells the fluid is going out into the interstitium from where it is going again to the plasma now the fluid in the plasma and in the interstitium is the extracellular fluid this is around 14 liters this is around 14 liters and around 20% it is around 14 liters and 20% of the body weight. Fluid inside the cell. Now this is the intracellular fluid, the orange color fluid present in the cells. This is basically the intracellular fluid or the fluid present in the cells. This fluid is 28 liters. This fluid is ar around 28 liters and it makes around 40%. It makes around 40% of the body weight. Now if you see, there are some lymphatics. There are some lymphatics. You see, now some of the fluid comes directly from the plasma into the interstitium and from the interstitium into the plasma. Or they are coming directly from the plasma into the interstitium and from the interstitium into the plasma. In lymphatics are some vessels just like capillaries and they take uh, lymph and lymph basically can make, uh, consist of some feeds and proteins which are basically larger uh, particles which cannot enter the capillaries. So larger particles larger particles which cannot enter these capillaries they enter into the lymphatics and go into the plasma so here this has been shown this is a connection between the interstitial fluid and the plasma and it is bypassing the cell membrane it is bypassing the capillary membrane sorry so it is not it cannot go into the capillary membrane because the lymph is the lymphatic vessels is basically carrying uh, uh, lymph which uh, basically is made of those substances which has larger uh, weight and they cannot go through the pores of the capillary capillaries now to summarize again to summarize again, the, in the human body, there is around 42 liters of fluid or water, which makes it around 60% of the body weight. If we if we consider an average normal body weight of around 70 kg. Now, this thing is quite variable with gender in males and females. It is quite variable with age and it is quite variable with the, with the weather. Hot and cold weather will change this thing. And a lot of conditions can basically influence, influence this factor. But, to, but what we think uh, that is... In a normal average adult human being, it will be around 42 liters and 60%. Out of these 42 liters, 14 liters will be in the extracellular fluid. 14 liters will be extracellular or present outside the cells. And 28 liters will be inside the cells or the intracellular fluid. Now in the extracellular fluid, around one fourth or three liters is basically plasma. Plasma is the non-cellular component of the blood. And 11 liters is basically the interstitial fluid, which is basically present outside the cells in the interstitium. And it makes around 11 liters or three by fourth. 3 by 4th of the extracellular fluid. Now, fluid basically continuously come in into the body and goes out of the body. And the kidneys, and the kidneys basically try to maintain a balance. The kidneys basically try to maintain a balance. And it is very important to keep this balance and to maintain this uh, amount of fluid constant for the proper functioning of the human body. If there is some disturbance, if there is some disturbance in the body, like for example, there is uh, uh, diarrhea or there is vomiting, then these amounts, these fluids basically they get disturbed. They get disturbed and their cha uh, changes occur and which which can lead to uh, different kind of diseases as well and different abnormalities. Now, this is very important to keep uh, that all the fluid of each and every compartment. So that's why it is important to discuss thing, this thing. So to summarize again, 20% of the uh, fluid is basically the extracellular fluid and 60% is the intracellular fluid or 28 liters and the extracellular fluid is basically made of plasma and interstitial fluid 3 liters is plasma 11 liter is uh, interstitial fluid and there is constant constant change across the or uh, crossover of fluid from plasma into the interstitium through the capillary membrane from plasma into the interstitium across the capillary membrane and from the interstitium into the cells and from the cells into the interstitium across the cell membrane across the cell membrane 
there is continuous fl uh, flow of fluid and similarly those larger particles which cannot be carried through the capillaries they basically go in the lymphatics so lymphatic basically vessels they provide a direct connection between plasma and interstitium so that's all about the body fluid compartments in the next lecture we will discuss the constituents of the different body compartments thanks a lot for watching the video